In addition to its classical and literary form, Malay had various regional dialects established before the rise of the Malaccan Sultanate. Also, Malay spread through interethnic contact and trade across the Malay archipelago as far as the Philippines. That contact resulted in a lingua franca that was called Bazar Malay or Low Malay and in Malay Malayu Pasar. It is generally believed that Bazar Malay was a pidgin, influenced by contact among Malay, Chinese, Portuguese, and Dutch traders. Besides the general simplification that occurs with pigeons, the Malay lingua franca had several distinctive characteristics. One was that possessives were formed with punya, its owner. Another was that plural pronouns were formed with orang, person. The only Malayic affixes that remained productive were tur and bur. Other features Ada became a progressive particle. Reduced forms of ini this, and itu, that, before a noun became determiners. The verb pragi, go, was reduced, and became a preposition, towards. Causative constructions were formed with kasi or bri, to give, or bikin or buat, to make. A single preposition, often sama, was used for multiple functions, including direct and indirect object, for example, Ruma ku, my house, becomes saya punya ruma, saya pukul dia, I hit him, becomes saya kasi pukul dia, megat de pukul Robert, megat is hit by Robert. Becomes Megat de Pukul Dick Robert Bazar Malay is still used to a limited extent in Singapore and Malaysia. The most important consequence, however, has been that Pidgin Malay creolized and created several new languages. Baba Malay Baba Malay or Peranakan Malay, once a diverse group of pigeons, is spoken in Malacca but is now almost extinct. These are Malay varieties spoken by the Peranakan, descendants of Chinese settlers who have lived in Malacca since the 15th century. Baba Malay is close to the trade pigeons which became creolized across the Malay archipelago, producing the variety of Malay creoles seen today. A kind of Baba Malay, called Peranakan, is spoken among Chinese living in East Java. It is a mixture of Malay or Indonesian with local Javanese, East Javanese dialect and Chinese elements particularly Hokkien. This particular variety is found only in East Java, especially in Surabaya and surrounding areas. While other Chinese tend to speak the language varieties of the places in which they live, the Chinese of Central Java speak higher standard Javanese in daily conversation even among themselves. In West Java, they tend to speak Sundanese. In Surabaya younger ethnic Chinese people tend to speak pure Javanese Surabaya dialect and learn Mandarin in courses. There are currently fewer 1,000 Baba Malay speakers in Malacca, and fewer than 1,000 Baba Malay speakers in Singapore. Example, spoken in Surabaya. Kamu Mbok Ojok Gitu, don't act that way. Yak Apa Kabarnia C Eli, how's Eli? Ntik Kamu Pigio Ambek Sisimu A Ya, go with your sister, okay? NIH, Makanan Sakaday, please have a meal. Kamu Karakan Bukune Koko Ndhek Rumahe Ling Ling, search your brother's book in Ling Ling's house, example, spoken in Malacca, Singapore. Dia Suka Dating Sini Sembang, he likes to come here and gossip. Kelop Kelop, Dia Naik Angan, slightly provoked, he gets angry. Gua Tunggu Dia Sampai Gua Kaa Jaram, I waited for him till I got angry. U Wa, Kinaji, Dia Pasang Kuat, wow. Today he dresses stylishly. Batawi Malay Batawi Malay, also known as Jakarta or Java Malay, is a creolized Malay which is spoken in Jakarta, the modern name for Batawi, and its surroundings. Betawian or Amang Batawi is based on Bazar Malay, Malayu Pasar, but influenced by various languages such as Javanese, Sundanese, the area is surrounded by Sundanese speaking area, Chinese, especially Hokkien, Portuguese, Dutch, Balinese, and others. 
Batawian Creole began to be used after 1750 in Batavia, and replaced Portuguese Creole as the lingua franca. Batawian Malay was also influenced by Chinese-style Malay spoken by the Chinese settlers who had come earlier. It has now become a very popular language particularly amongst the younger generations in Indonesia due largely to its use on television, such as Sinetron or Sitcom. Batawi Malay was the ancestor of Cocos Malay. Malaccan Creole Malay Spoken since the 16th century by descendants of Tamil merchants of the Malacca Straits. It may be historically related to Sri Lanka Creole Malay. Sri Lanka Malay The Sri Lankan Creole Malay language is a unique mixture of the Sinhalese language and the Tamil language with Malay. Sri Lanka Malay SLM, is a restructured vernacular of Malay base spoken by at least five different communities in Sri Lanka which has evolved to be significantly divergent from other varieties of Malay due to intimate contact with the dominant languages of Sinhala and Tamil. The Malays in Sri Lanka, whose ancestry include laborers brought by the Dutch and British, as well as soldiers in the Dutch garrison, now constitute 0.3% of the population, numbering some 46,000. It is spoken exclusively by the Malay ethnic minority in Sri Lanka. Broom Purling Lugger Pigeon A pigeon used in the pearl industry in West Australia. Sabah Malay A pigeonized variant of Standard Malay, Sabah Malay is a local trade language. There are a large number of native speakers in urban areas, mainly children who have a second native language. There are also some speakers in the southernmost parts of the Philippines, particularly in the Sulu archipelago as a trade language. Makassar Malay Makassar Malay is not a Creole, but a mixed Malay Makassaris language, with Malay lexicon, Makassaris inflections, and mixed Malay Makassaris syntax. Balinese Malay Balinese Malay is a trade language of the island. East Indonesian Malay The Creoles of Eastern Indonesia appear to have formed as Malays and Javanese, using lingua franca Malay, established their monopoly on the spice trade before the European colonial era. They have a number of features in common, becomes a, e, or assimilates to the following vowel i, u lower to e, o. In some environments there is a loss of final plosives p, t, k, and the neutralization of final nasals in part of the lexicon the perfective marker suda reduces to su or so for example, makan becomes mocking pergi becomes piggy or pi turkuyut becomes takajo lembat becomes lombo depat becomes dapabakan next, is perhaps the most archaic, and appears to be closely related to Brunei Malay, which is not a creole. Bacanese Malay spoken in Bacan Island and its surroundings, North Maluku. Manado Malay Manado Malay is another creole which is the lingua franca in Manado and Minahasa, North Sulawesi. It is based on Ternatean Malay and highly influenced by Ternatean, Dutch, Minahasa languages and some Portuguese words. Examples, Kita equals Inana equals U Touring equals We Doring equals They Io equals Yes Nyanda, No Glottal Stop, Sentences, Kita Pay Mama Ada Pai Ka Pasar, My Mother Is Going to the Market Nana So Nyanda, Mocking Dari Kalamaring, You Haven't Eaten Since Yesterday. Nana Jang Badusta Pa Kita, Don't Lie to Me Touring Sa Pasti Bisa, We Can Surely Do That Gorap Gorap is lexically 85% Malay, but has many ternate words as well, and word order differs from both Austronesian and Halmahara languages. Children no longer acquire the language. Ternate, North Moluccan Malay This Creole resembles Manado Malay, but with different accents and vocabulary. A large percentage of its vocabulary is borrowed from Ternatean, such as Gnana, U.S.G. Ingoni, U. Place Biffy, Ant Siri, to fall spoken in Ternate, Tador and Halmahara Islands, North Maluku for intergroup communications, and in the Sula Islands. Example, Jang Bafoya, Don't Lie. Kuping Malay spoken in Kuping, East Nusa Tenggara, on the west end of Timor Island. It is based on archaic Malay which mixed mostly with Dutch, Portuguese and local languages. Similar to Ambanese Malay with several differences in vocabularies and accent. Its grammatical system resembles that of other East Indonesian Malay creoles. 
Examples, beta equals I Lu equals U Sonda equals no beta Sonda Tau, La equals I don't know Alor Malay Alor Malay is spoken in the Alor archipelago. Speakers perceive Alor Malay to be a different register of standard Indonesian, but both of these are prestige varieties of the archipelago. Many people are able to understand standard Indonesian, but cannot speak it fluently and choose to use Alor Malay on a daily basis. Alor Malay is based on Kuping Malay, however, Alor Malay differs significantly from Kuping Malay, especially in its pronouns. Ambonese Malay Malay was first brought to Ambon by traders from western Indonesia, then developed into a Creole when the Dutch Empire colonized the Moluccas. Ambonese Malay was the first example of the transliteration of Malay into Roman script, and used as a tool of the missionaries in eastern Indonesia. Bandanese Malay A distinct variant of Moluccan Malay, spoken in Banda Islands, Maluku. Significantly different from Ambonese Malay and for Ambonese, Bandanese Malay tends to be perceived as sounding funny due to its unique features. Example Beta I Pain U Kotorang We Mir Ants deviated from Dutch Meyer Papuan Irian Malay Originally a contact language among tribes in Indonesian New Guinea, Papua and West Papua for trading and daily communication, now a growing number of native speakers. Papuan and Irian declared Malay as their language since 1926, before the Sumpa Pemuda Declaration. Nowadays, they tend to speak more formal Indonesian. This variant is also understood in Benimo, Papua New Guinea near Indonesian border. Example Ini tana pemerinta punya, bukan ko punya. Equals its governmental land, not yours. Tong tra perna bohong equals we don't lie. See also Creoles of the Malay archipelago based on languages other than Malay Javando language Petjo language Portuguese-based Creole languages External links a Baba Malay Dictionary by William Gui, Theon Hawk Malay Creole Boy, Hottentot Square Cape Town, Malay Boy of Cape Town Picture, George French Angus Delt, et Lithic. The Malay Chetty Creole Language of Malacca A Historical and Linguistic Perspective References Ethnologue, Malay-based Creoles